Here at Automatoon, we've created the easiest and most efficient animation program ever. On a new project, let's add a new image. Now we're going to create an awesome animated frog. Automatoon has its own drawing program built right in. Now uh, let's draw each little body part separately like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stick pinholes into each body part and then connect them with pins in order to create a little animated puppet. Now Automatoon has this awesome break apart button that will take your larger image and break it apart into its constituents. So now we can click on each uh, separate piece of the frog image and uh, we can add detail, in this case uh, add eyes to the uh, head and then we can fill it in. Now you don't have to use the drawing program built into Automatoon. You can just import uh, artwork from Photoshop or whatever your favorite painting program is. And uh, uh, However, it's useful to use the built-in drawing program to prototype your animation and then you can swap in the completed artwork later on. Now next we need to add pinholes into each one of our images. This uh, is exactly where each image is going to connect with the other images that make up the frog image. After we've done, we've finished doing that, we can now click on the animate tab and start animating. So you can see there's three animation tools over on the right. They're called change, bend, and move. And you can see a timeline underneath it. The change tool lets you add images to your animation or remove images. And the most advanced feature is that it will let you swap images for each other. The bend tool lets you bend your completed cartoon characters along their joints. The move tool lets you move your cartoon characters around the screen to create a composition. So in this case we want to add images so let's use the change tool and now we can just drag our images right onto the animation surface and when we bring the pinholes close to each other they snap in place. Let's move this arm to the back. Um, some the left arm and left thigh obviously will need to be behind the body so we can use the pop-up menu to send it to the back. Um, and you can see this is so effortless. All the different body parts just snap right into place with their pins. Now uh, the first thing we'd obviously want to do with this frog is make it hop. Uh, since we're bending body parts at that point we want to use the bend tool. So the bend tool is the most awesome tool in this program because it uses inverse kinematics so you can just very easily pose your, your animated figure by clicking on it and naturally moving it into position. Now notice that I'm moving forward in time and I'm basically creating frames for a little frog animation so that this frog can hop. Um, so in this case he's now uh, f uh, full in the air and now he's going to have to start preparing for his landing. So let's move his feet forward like this and uh, uh, then maybe one more frame where he uh, kind of uh, starts coming down. Um, uh, let me see, got to tuck these uh, legs in the right way, maybe like this. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we, of course we want the, now we, now we can use the up and down keys on our keyboard to preview this animation. So you can just hit up and down and you can see this is what happens. Notice that uh, some of these boxes have check marks. Those are keyframes. Um, now uh, I'm gonna copy this little hop uh, and paste it and then I can use control V and I'm just going to paste it one two three four five six seven eight more times so that we can uh, have uh, ten little hops all together um, and there you can see by clicking on the finish tab you can just see our the little animation of the hopping frog notice that there's a public link option there that's what you can use to share this animation with your friend no extra effort required on your part now let's make this frog move towards the camera. So the frog's going to start way back here. This white area you see on the screen now uh, on the move tool, that's the actual uh, edge of the web page. So he's going to start from outside of the web page and then he's uh, at the end of the animation he's going to move all the way over here and because he's moving towards the camera now he's really big like this. And you can see that uh, as I'm making changes here it puts little check marks in the timeline to indicate keyframes. The computer will fill in everything that is in the keyframe. And there you go, there's our awesome animated frog animation and it took us only five minutes. Now let's step things up a notch and let's add a fly to our animation that the frog can eat. So in order to do that let's just uh, draw a new, uh, new fly image on our draw tab. Um, now one thing you've probably noticed in Automatoon is that um, you don't spend a lot of time managing resources. 
we made sure at Automatune that you can use this program without having to create any complex hierarchies or naming all your various body parts, uh, something that we kind of find tedious in traditional drawing programs. So we've created our little fly image, so now we just uh, go back to the beginning and uh, from the change tool we can just add the fly to our picture. Now let's uh, shrink the fly to be proper fly size. Now of course we want this uh, fly to move around the screen, so we go to the move tool and now we'll just click a f uh, ahead a few uh, milliseconds at a time um, in order to uh, kind of make the fly uh, hop around the screen. Now um, the way animation works in Autonotoon is completely different than in traditional animation programs. We have a technology called composition by tool. You can read about it in our documentation and it's uh, brand new and that's what makes Automatoon so easy. Okay, so we've created our little buzzing fly. Now let's um, add uh, something to allow the frog to eat the fly. In this case what we're going to do uh, is just create a new uh, image uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw the head of the frog uh, with the mouth open and, the, the, uh, and we'll give it a big red tongue that it can use to uh, catch the fly. So um, the most powerful feature in Automatoon is the swapping feature. This lets you create all kinds of really sophisticated effects like morphing and fades and transitions. Um, and uh, there, we use a lot of uh, interpolation to uh, match uh, the uh, body parts together in the right way. Um, and you can see it's very easy to use. Just uh, drag your new, we're just going to drag the new head right on top of the old head. And you can see us, uh, we can just swap it in place. And notice how all the limbs just snapped right to the new body part. And uh, so you can see that um, at, uh, now what we want to do is we want to close the mouth again. So I'm just copying the keyframe of the closed mouth uh, from before uh, into the future. And if I move up and down, you can see the mouth opening and closing. So, um, okay, now, now let's just go and uh, make sure that the frog and the fly are properly lined up as it takes its uh, leap. Um, so I'm gonna, just going to go here and I'm going to move the frog into the mouth because obviously the, the tongue is going to grab the frog. Um, now, the other thing we need to do is at the end of the uh, little uh, eating animation, we want to remove the frog from the change keyframe. So what you'll see now is that uh, the fly will disappear after it's been eaten. There we go. So as you can see, that's a little bit crude. Um, we've, we only created one transition frame, and we could get much fancier by actually creating a, a tongue that's a separate body part and have a much smoother animation. Uh, but I think you can uh, see from this just how powerful Automatoon is. Now, I'm going to click the download link, and that'll just create a zip file that I can just upload to my website in order to play this animation anywhere that I want to. Um, now, in this case, after this is done uh, uh, exporting the zip file, I'm going to upload it to thefrogchallenge.com. We at Automatoon believe it takes way too long to create simple animations in other animation programs, so we challenge all animators out there to send us screencasts where they too create a similar frog animation like ours in another program and we will post it there for all to see.